guys welcome back to my youtube channel so i have actually stopped doing youtube and a lot of my friends and family and followers on instagram has told me to restart my youtube channel so we're gonna see how this goes um i'm on my way to a show today um it's about 30 minutes away from where king is for those that have followed me since i started my youtube channel i've got a new horse um so you guys will see a little bit of him today i still have athena and she's been back so that is really exciting um but i hope you guys enjoy this vlog ish thing show vlog i don't know what you call it um and i will see you guys when we get to the show video. okay i'm back again so um there's someone i'd like you guys to meet um Obviously, he was in my previous videos. So this is Terry. <laughs> he is obviously my boyfriend, uh, but he's going with me to the shows, and he will be taking videos and stuff of me. But you guys will see him a lot more in these videos because he's like with me all the time when I go to shows. Um, but I just wanted to introduce you to him. He's a little camera shy, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Although I don't really like doing this either. It's something I have to get used to. Um, at least he doesn't laugh at me while I do this. Anyway, um, he will be the person behind the camera most of the time. And you'll probably... I, ooh, I have an idea. I think what we're going to do is... I don't really eat at shows, but if I do, Tarek is the one that... Um, goes to get me food so I think I've seen Elphick event ponies do this and I think it's really cool I'm not gonna steal well, sorry I'm not, I don't want to steal the idea but I think it's really cool uh, so we're gonna see how Tarek likes the food at the show and then he can tell you guys if it's good when we have like actual lunch is that a good idea yeah sure. okay all right see you guys there I'm <laughs> just seeing your silhouette. Hi guys, okay, so I decided I was going to do a voiceover. Sorry for the background noise, we're currently have load shedding. I'm sitting in the kitchen with my sister and a friend. Uh, so coming around to one, a lot of people were having a dead canter coming around that corner. So I really made a point of pushing King forward. And then it was seven down to that oxa. That girl was standing behind the oxa and King actually got a fright of that horse. But I had to push him on to get over it. Coming down to this was a um, six strides down to this, uh, to these two uprights. Um, he's quite careless over upright, so I really had to work to just get him back on his hind end. Coming around this corner, it was 20 steps down to this upright, which usually a four stride is 18 steps, so it was quite a long four stride. Um, and he found it quite, uh, he found it normal because he's got quite a big stride. And then he tripped coming down that corner. Uh, it's actually six coming down to this one stride, but he did it in five because this was a um, speed round, so I really pushed him forward and he quite, he suits that. Uh, I cut this oxa on an angle so that I could make this turn easier to this upright, which I could have actually kept my leg on a little bit longer so that he could have had a better jump over that, but that's fine. And then I pushed him onto this oxa at the end, which I wanted to check him, but he, he just gets so strong, so he got a little bit long, but I was really happy he came first in this round. Yeah, so King got first in that first round. So while I'm walking here, I just want to give a little bit of backstory to my second round. So here I come in now. Um, in the warm-up, a girl fell over one of the oxes and King got a massive fright. So throughout this round, I was essentially just trying to get him around because he just lost so much confidence. In the beginning, he was pretty good. He just was sucking out underneath me in front of the fences. And you can't really tell, but I was really having to ride him forward. Um, coming around to this oxer, he did it again. And then 
on the corn like landing he just tripped and I just think that that really just kind of put the cherry on the cake and he really just lost confidence um into this oxa I really kept my leg on and got him over and he was pretty good around this corner um coming into this next oxa uh, we had the full stride and he actually found it quite short which um that just proves you how big his stride is so around this corner I should have actually gone around number 10 but I cut in um the inside because he's usually better on smaller corners and he just dropped his front end and then this is where he really just lost confidence after knocking that pole and he again and just sucked out underneath me and then this is kind of where he just lost it and like I really really had to push him forward and he did it here again and then coming into the last one I had to push him again so overall like this round wasn't the best but we came back home and like really worked on it and he's much better now um okay so I am really bad at taking videos and vlogging um today went really well king did his first meter rounds today um he's done a show how many weeks ago about three yeah three weeks ago he did his first meter rounds with me um and he got two clears then um and then this was his first graded meter today and it went really well his first round he got clear the fastest time and he came first place which i was really happy about second round i think there was only two people that went clear um it was quite a spooky course and king gets really anxious in the warm-up arena with horses running past him or um horses just being in a space and while we were warming up there was a horse that stopped at a jump and the girl fell off and the horse like went crazy and King had an absolute heart attack um, so I took him in the round he was really good to start off with um, but just coming he was sticky to the second oxa but just coming to the let's say there was like yeah to number eight which, which was like the third oxa of the course um, he just lost total confidence um, and dug him, well, I dug him into the, the bottom of the oxa and then when that happened he just kind of lost it so um, but I'm really happy with him overall I think he jumped brilliantly for his first graded show now we've at least got one point so four more to go and then he'll be moving up to 110s which I'm really happy about so that's kind of the goal for at the end of the year um, but yeah so thank you guys for watching my not so interesting vlog because I didn't really vlog a lot. <laughs> um, but thank you for watching and I hope you guys want to see another one. Let me know. <laughs> Bye. Hi guys. Um, this is me four days later from the show. Um, I just wanted to add a little bit of context in that last round. I didn't have time to do the voiceover because my round went so fast. Um, so I had a lesson yesterday with Brendan uh, my coach and we kind of just went through what happened on my round my second round at least um, at the show like I said I was so happy with his first round and then obviously the second one happened so um, essentially with King he gets extremely anxious and he like gets really overwhelmed if horses come running up behind him in a warm-up or if like people fall off or anything like that he really responds badly to it so before my round like I said someone fell off and he had such a moment and then when I came into my round to like ride the girl before me was demolishing the course like she knocked almost every single jump and then kind of went through one of the jumps and so he I think just saw that and it completely freaked him out so starting off the course he started like really anxious like I could feel it like you can't really see it on the video um so that's something definitely he needs to work on. Uh, well, I need to work on with him as well. So we've got a show this coming weekend, which will enter him in the meters again. Um, I'll decide to see how he feels on the day. I might drop him down to 90 the first round and then a meter in the second round. Um, but this is just for confidence, just to get his confidence back up. Luckily, it's not in an indoor. because I think the indoor setting also made him really nervous. Um, so hopefully this weekend, I'll definitely vlog it again. He should be better, um, he should be a lot more confident, um, but I will keep you guys up to date and I will definitely vlog the next show if you want me to, so just comment below and let me know. Um, and yeah, so hopefully King goes better this 
um, show. But this is his first, like, he's only started grade it this year. Um, so this is everything is new to him. All these scary, spooky fillers and everything. So I'm overall extremely proud of him. And I think that he really has a very bright future ahead of him. So anyway, thank you so much for watching my vlog. And I'll see you guys in the next one.